Hey, Justin, what are you doing? Hey, Floyd, I'm inverted. <laughs> Welcome back to SeaTac Studios. My name is Floyd. I'm Justin. And today we're talking. Wait a minute. We're inverted again. My name is Justin. I'm Floyd. And today we're talking about the Emergilite High Capacity Mini Inverter. Hey, Floyd. I've always wondered how this thing works. Well, if you want to find out, why don't you push that test switch? Okay. Wow, way to go, Mr. Frizzle. Well, I put 1.1 gigawatts into that test switch. Okay, one too many movie references. But now that we're here, so how does this thing work? Well, first you have uh, 120, 277 coming in, and it goes to an unswitched input, or it can go to four switched circuits. And from there, that power then goes down, goes around over here to that black box, and that's where the AC is transferred to DC to feed the circuitry of the inverter. And then that also goes down to the batteries to charge them? Yeah, correct. It definitely feeds the batteries, and it also goes over to this black box here behind us, and that's where DC is converted to AC, back to DC, back out into the system. And so that's what they mean by cleaning the power so it matches that utility wave, right? Yeah, pretty much exactly right. And then from there, it goes down to these four uh, output circuit breakers that we're standing on now and over to that transformer. And from that transformer, it goes from DC to AC out to your emergency fixtures. Okay, awesome. So that's how pretty much most inverters work, right? Yeah, so what's much. different about this one? I'm glad you asked. Let's take a closer look. We're jumping on three. One, two, three. Whoa, I can have a seat. All right, with our first feature, is that card right down there? The one with the purple and gray? Yeah, that one. It actually serves two purposes. One, to shunt your zero to 10 volt loads to full brightness in an emergency. Okay. And two, to allow you to put more fixtures on a circuit by reducing the output in emergency. Oh, so like, like load shedding. Exactly. For instance, if you have a thousand watt inverter, you can put more fixtures on it, up to 3,200 3, watts at 120 volts. So that allows me to get more out of my inverter than say what the part number says? Exactly, more for less. Okay, so that's awesome. What else can you tell me? Well, the next thing we should look at is a charger card. Right over here. Let's get a little closer. Okay, let's jump to that antenna cable. Whoa, <laughs> yeah. this is crazy. Wow, there seems to be a lot going on here. It's actually pretty simple. The charger card handles self-diagnostics and knows when to switch to battery mode during an emergency. What about that little one? That's the Nexus Pro card. It allows you to monitor your system anywhere in the world from an app or a web browser. Always knowing the status of your inverter system would really give peace of mind. Uh, so, so I have a lunch to learn to get to. How do we, how do we get out of here? Drop to the flux capacitor. The, the, the flux what? Do you trust me? Not particularly. On three, drop. One. Two, three. Whoa, what a trip. Hey, we're back. Wow, so I never want to do that again. Oh, come on, you had a blast. And you're the one that pushed the button. I, I did push the button. And if you want to learn more about the Emergilite High Capacity Mini Inverter today, please reach out to your local rep. All right, thanks for watching. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a thing.